Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, I had lowered the Dodge Event on the lift right now, and I have a good to say, what's up Caleb? What's up Caleb? <laughs> As you guys know, I lowered the car and I got a pretty good stance on it. And I also told you that I knew was there was some front end things going on with the vehicle. Well, long story short, 4,000 miles late, I have to get new tread. I have to get new tread because everything was so chewed out on the inside that it was literally bald. And so yesterday I went and got new tread. Okay, so as I told you guys before, when you know that you're going to be lowering a vehicle and you have things going on, as far as alignment issues, ball joint issues, anything like that, that you are going to want to handle those. Okay, I did not do that, and I paid the price for that. Um, and here we are. Now, the, the thing that we have to do now is we have to change the tie rods. Because they were so loose, they were actually shaking back and forth, shaking back and forth, okay? Um, so what I'm telling you guys is basically, unless you want to pay all kinds of money, <laughs> and spending new tires you are going to want to fix the alignment you are going to want to change the ball joints change the upper control arm uh upper ball joints lower ball joints tie rods inner and outer anything like that that may be causing you any issues cheap please do yourself a favor and check that out before you decide to slam your car lower your car because otherwise you're going to be chewing through tires like nobody's business okay um Seriously, it's not it's not fun. I, I it literally was like overnight. I just realized that I did not have any tread left. So, uh, show you, uh, we have everything prepped, but you can tell that these are really bad. I mean, I'm not putting any effort in here whatsoever. Um, and when the tire was on, you can pull it back and forth. Okay, again, lower ball joints. Right here, you can take a pry bar and you can pull up on this. And if you are getting play, then that means those probably are wore out and those also need changed. Okay. And then over here, you have your um, sway bar link to your shock. Okay. So you have it from here on your shock all the way down to your sway bar which is also going to be a part of your suspension slash alignment okay and i can tell you right now i have not got to these but they are pretty loose okay see look down there it's changing i shouldn't really be able to do that especially given the fact how small this little rod is on this on this uh sway bar link okay they're pretty wore out, and I will do that. But my main concern right now is my tie rods also, so that way I can get me a good alignment. Um, I'm pretty sure the ball joints are still good. But again, you're going to want to make sure. You're going to want to make sure. You're going to want to make sure all that stuff is done. Uh, just get it changed. And if you don't know how to get it changed, uh, this I got the video coming out for you guys next on how to actually change the tie rods. That will be down in the link description below. Uh, Caleb, got anything to say? Spend the money up front. That way you don't have to later on. That's right. Spend the money up front. Get it taken care of. And that way you will not have no problems, okay? Uh, outside of that, this was a short video. I just wanted to let you guys know that this is some serious stuff. And literally, I don't think anyone wants to drop, you know, hundreds of dollars on tires and then a month later do it again. Um, that was where I was at. So handle it up front. That's the big word. That's the big key of the day. And again, if you guys are interested in learning how to change out tie rods, inner and outer, on the Dodge Avenger, look down in the uh, details below, and I will have the description of that video. Uh, so, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, smack, you know, let's get this video pushed out, and I will catch you in the next video.